So in this video, I'm in Tallahassee visiting the grave site of my grandma and granddaddy Garner. When I come to Tallahassee, I try to get over here and see them visit. Uh, grandma and granddaddy Garner had a big impact on me and who I am and uh, how I grew up. So two very important people to me. So I try real hard to get in here, see them when I get through town. And they told everybody he wanted to be close to the road so he could hear the trucks go by. So I think uh, he got that. Definitely. And granted, it was a Tech 5 in World War II in the Army. It's a beautiful cemetery, isn't it? And this here, the road I'm turning on to, let me show you the street sign here real quick. Garner Road. I don't think you can see it very good in the video, but it's Garner Road. Named that to my family. That's because they had a lot of large piece of land out here that my grandfather was born out here and grew up on. But he used to take me out here when I was a teenager. I think I was 12 years old, he took me out here, and I learned to drive on this very road in his... Uh, Volkswagen Beetle. So, a lot of yelling, a lot of clutch grinding, a lot of missing gears and choking down. But this is where I learned to drive. This is where we hashed it out, back and forth, back and forth on this road. <clears throat> so, and this goes on around to the uh, family property. And right here around the corner, on the right, um, there was an old house that used to stand in there and it was all covered by kudzu and you couldn't get to it but you could kind of see the roof. It was an old house over, right over here to the right, right? Right out there. And uh, Granddaddy always told me that's the house he was born in. So I always thought that was really cool for that. That house was still standing. But uh, we couldn't get to it. But, and now it's gone, obviously. But it was pretty cool. I thought about it every time we drove by there. But going on out here to the property. Right down here on the right to this little little road right there it goes out to where my dad and my uncle still own 20 acres of the original plot. I don't know how much of the, the extended family still owns out here, but I know my dad and uncle have 20 acres out here. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to come out here and see heritage a little bit. And from here, I'm going to head to uh, the graveyard. It's not very far here where my great-grandfather and great-grandmother are buried. And my dad just took me out there a little over a year ago. I've been there for the first time. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool to go back and visit your folks. Here I am. I almost didn't find it. I thought I knew right where to go, but it took me a little while. But uh, here it is. That's my great-grandfather. And of course, Garner, there it is. That's what helped me find it. My great-grandmother. This here's my great uncle, Uncle Harold. And this would be my great, uh, great aunt. This is my great grandfather. I don't remember meeting him. This is my great grandmother's grave, and I do remember her very briefly. I got, I think, one of my earliest memories. I got a just a picture of her on the front porch, sitting in a rocking chair. It's 
probably on that house that my grandfather said he was born in. But uh, that's what I got in my head. And so I do have a vague memory of her. And then this is Uncle Harold. I definitely remember Uncle Harold. I used to go, he used to live out there at the property. And every time me and my granddad would go out there, I'd always see him. He's kind of had a raspy voice like I do, so maybe that's where I have that from. But uh, I remember Uncle Harold very, very well. And this would be my great aunt, who I don't remember, obviously. She was she died before I was born, but I think the story has something to do. I think she got murdered, and there's a lot of controversy around her death. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the story. I probably need to ask some more questions so I can get the story. But anyway, that's my great aunt. I wasn't sure where I was going to put this part of the video. This is uh, this is Quincy, Florida. This is where I was born. So obviously I visited my grandparents and my great grandparents. With without them, I never would have existed. So it's kind of wasn't sure if I was going to wrap the video up with where I was born or put it at the beginning. But I'm putting it here at the end. This is Quincy, Florida, the city I was born in. <laughs> 